हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू टुडे इन द सीक्वेंस ऑफ द अर्लियर टॉपिक समन हाल्स आज़ादी आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेसन ऑन पार्टीशन दैट वाज ए कंडीशन बिफोर द पार्टीशन एंड ड्यूरिंग द पार्टीशन एंड आफ्टर द पार्टीशन द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज पैनिक ऑफ पार्टीशन पैनिक वट इज पैनिक देर आर सम वर्ड्स सच लाइक फीयर हॉर टेरर एंड पैनिक ऑल दो ऑल द देम आर सेम बट पैनिक इज मोर डेंजरस वाई बिकॉज इट इज द फीयर near to death so the conditions during the partitions were very critical and everybody was thinking about his or her death because of the blood shed tyranny and murders during the partition saman hal's azadi depends on this situation the partition of india was the root of separating the subcontinents along parochial lines in 1947 as india achieved its independence from british empire it led into a muslim dominating northern state of pakistan and hindu predominating so southern part because became the republic of india partition however demolished both india and pakistan as it awarded many lives and rights rapes murders and lootings but also about 15 million people were displaced from their homes the two countries commenced their independence with bust economies and lands without an untrained competent system of government saman hal's azadi is a modern classic which consists in an inclusive revelation of life signifying the chaos that partition played on the people of the country both at the social and individual levels it portrays the realistic historical documentation of the atrocious confrontation posed by the partition throughout the terrible perspective at saman hal himself was a refugee he writes with incredible ingrace and realism therefore he has written his own experience through the characters of lala kasiram and his son arun the novel is about the mom environment before the declaration of partition the awful incidents caused by the partition the rest of the circumstances of the deracinated refugees after the partition here in this chapter i propose to examine poignant description of historical trauma of the theme of partition in azadi so in the introductory part we have seen that how the conditions of the people people were very critical and they were under the terror that something might have happened during the partition its background is that azadi the novels of gandhi and gandhi chorus is deemed some of hal's best novel nahal was stimulated to write this novel from this personal his personal experience of having lived in sialkot at the time for he himself acknowledges the autobiographical nature of azadi by calling it a hymn to one's land of birth rather than a realistic novel of the partition The novel is historical, political, and above all, a great work of art. Nahal has represented life-like picture of the interlude of the partition. We certainly feel dismayed when we read about the murders, massacres, rapes, burning, looting, and the condition of uprooted refugees caused by the partition. <coughs> In this regard, there is a writer. His name is K. R. Srinivas Iyengar. Says. Azadi is about the partition of India that held the subcontinent in a nightmare of horror for months and lived a trial of phenomenal bitterness and misery. Even at this distance of time, the wounds bleed afresh at the pure proud of memory. As we know, Chaman Nahal himself was the sufferer of partition, a refugee, and he faced bitter experiences throughout the journey across the border. Therefore, he has written his own experience through the character of Lala Kasiram and his son Arun. protagonist lala kasiram binary ideology the novel azadi commences in sialkot now in pakistan according to the writer in sialkot where muslim 
or in majority muslims hindus and sikhs were given peacefully before living peacefully before pakistan and partition but it got distressed when lord bounty betten affirmed that creation of india and pakistan a kind of fear hatred and enmity increased among the people of sialkot and for first time riot with broke out there in azadi samun hal through his protagonist lala kasiram also conveys his idea of partition and the british rule lala kasiram has dual feelings towards the british he admires them for their qualities but criticizes them for the their faults he enjoyed the safety of british raj and hugged it lovingly the british had brought some kind of peace to his land that was torn apart he says they are a nation which cannot be easily beaten he thought a handful of them have kept us under their feet for over 200 years and now that hitler too has made the same fate at their hands lala kasiram also praised the controlling power of the british rule and police officers for example he had great faith in general race but has just before leaving his house lala kasiram blames the british for not protecting the refugees he also blames the faults of the british if the british were going to lose india it was not because of gandhi or the awakening amongst the masses it was because of the tactical error they made in sending out an ugly viceroy in the crucial days of their raj violence and rampant home beside that nahal was not at all happy with the partition of india now how deep his anguish and anger were are vividly expressed in the novel azadi his purpose in this novel is to present the most comprehensive account of the partition lala kasiram knows that the voice rise to make an important announcement over the radio on the evening of the third zone 1947 and this puts an end to all speculations he looks tense and dreads the horrible consequence if the english agree to give pakistan to jinnah lala kasiram fears the division of the country he sees in it the shrewd british plan he knows the british policy of encouraging the partition his faith in gandhi's oath of not accepting the partition looks shaken partition disturbs the peaceful and complacent life of the people and the novelist explores this disturbance with the profound sympathy and condemns the inhuman atrocities perpetrated on the innocent people kasiram's world is shaken by the creation of the pakistan and he stands as a shattered individual his cherished beliefs and values not giving him support the account of his migration to india along with his family in the world of mk naik is easily one of the most comprehensive fictional accounts of a partition holocaust in india english literature this shows that the novelist was not happy with the partition of india and he poignantly expressed the feelings of anguish and anger about in azadi which is predominantly a political novel for example Lala Kasiram the protagonist is against the partition he blames the english as he says yes the british are the real villains they had let the country down they had let him down he who puts such faith in them the news of the partition is taken differently by the different countries muslims go wild at the news they celebrate it by exploding the free records fire records the noise and light of these crackers torments the hindu and sikh population and makes them lose their appetite the muslim homes and their rooftops are lit with air earthen lamps and more and more lights comes on as if the earth had suddenly erupted in a volcanic explosion cutting so many holes in the surface of the city they display their joy of dancing mock fighting and singing and by forcibly taking the procession through the hindus mohallas where lala kasiram and his friends live the police superintendent and the deputy commissioner try their best to control the situation the hindus and the muslims begin to hate and tear each one of them muslims hindus pray to the subsequent to the partition so in these lines we have seen how the refugee lala kasiram through the mouth of the novelist has tried to show that although english people were uh, great because of their qualities but they were cruel they had let the country down and they were the victims for the partition everyone knows that india is known for its democracy 
different communities and regions are living together without conflict. This has been shaped in the root of the society of India that no religion attacks another. Muslims are free to live according to their own rules and regulations and Hindus and Sikhs are as well. According to Chaman Hall, in his novel Azadi, there was a Hindu-Muslim unity and peaceful life before the partition. Sialkot was a Muslim-dominated city and there, are, there was unity among people of all castes. There was seldom any rivalry between Hindus and Muslims. This fact is presented through the friendship of Lala Kasiram and Chaudhri Barkat Ali, the all the love of Arun and Noor. Lala Kasiram and Chaudhri Barkat Ali, who had attended Gandhi's speech at Ramtala in 1929, both of them are deeply impressed by Gandhi's vision, Hindu Muslim unity, home industry, nationalism, Puran Savraj, non-violence, self-discipline and self-sacrifice and so on sworn to be lifelong friends and never thought of the communal barrier between themselves. There are so many other examples of the friendship between Lala Kasiram and Barkat Ali. Both had pretended to be friends but they were not in the real manner because the circumstances led them to uh, divide and led to partition. <coughs> in the episode, you have seen so many types of the people come there and fight for Azadi. Many are still in search of an identity and history left behind beyond an impenetrable boundary. The two countries started of which ruined economies and lands and without an established experience system of government. <coughs> they lost many of their most dynamic leaders such as Gandhi, Jinnah, Alma, Iqbal. India and Pakistan have been to war twice since the partition they are still deadlocked over the issue of closeness of Kashmir. The same issues of boundaries and divisions, Hindus and Muslims, majorities and differences is still persist in Kashmir. Overall, Saman Hal ended this novel with his sadly depleted family trying to begin a new life in Delhi. Azadi has none of the sensationalism of other novels about India's partition, such as Khusun Sikh's train to Pakistan or Manohar Mal Gaonkar's A Bend in the Gingaj. Nahal shows the cruelty as well as the humility, humanity of both sides. Now come with conclusion. As the above discussion shows, this novel mainly, mainly deals with the theme of partition. It is a realistic record of the horrible incidents caused by the partition. It is not less than any tragic novel. It should be also added that Chaman Hall in his novel did not try to criticize one religion against other Muslim against Hindu. In this way, Nahal not only objects his the personal experience but also presents a deliberate combination of the historical, the didactic and situational discursive elements. Almost at the end of the novel, this fact had been cleared by him. He wrote, In Delhi, Lala Kasiram and others had to see the Muslim abducted women spread. They felt bad. Soon they saw that a train of the Muslim refugee was attacked and many Muslims were killed. Now, all through this, his protagonist gives the idea that he did not hate the Muslims because what they did in Pakistan with the Hindus, the Indians did the same with the Muslims in India. This is the question how the refugee, like the novelist himself, tried to describe the situation before the partition, during the partition, and after the partition. <coughs> the picture of the partition makes a terror, makes a panic in the mind of the people who were present during these uh, situations and now everyone feels very uh, tensionized that this condition is still prevailing between two countries. There have been two wars between India and Pakistan and now they are against their wills 
थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू